take the Mini Cooper apart, the 2007 Mini Cooper uh, S, the model really doesn't matter, and it has a basic uh, sound system. What I'm taking off here are the two screws behind the uh, odometer. You've got to take these two off before you can get to uh, the stereo. Alright, what I'm using here is just a screwdriver with some tape on the end so you don't mess up your, uh, your grill. Essentially what you do is you pop off this part. Since I've already done it a couple times, it'll be easy to pop off. What you do basically is you get in here and you get in here, and it'll pop off. Um, you don't have to worry about it too much. It'll feel like you're going to break it, but you won't break it. Um, just use the tape and everything. And there you go. Pop this off. Okay, you can All right, what I'm doing here is I'm taking off the uh, base plate for uh, the driver's seat. What you do is you just pull out these three screws. And that's it. This should either come off or you need to pull it off. It'll once again feel like you're breaking it, but you're not breaking it. Alright, what I'm taking off here is this side panel. Once you remove this right here, all you have to do is pull this off. This, it just pulls off. It'll feel a little bit ugly, but once again, just pull it off. And that's it. You can start seeing the screws right here on the sides so that you can um, get start getting an idea that you have to pull this thing all off. But we'll get to that right now. Alright, now I'm trying to get rid of the odometer here, so what you have to do is again with the screwdriver, just pull this back a little bit, it shouldn't hurt anything, and that's it, pull this off, you can start seeing some screws here, all you have to do as well is pull this guy off, which, just get under it, pops right off, and uh, that's it, you can start pulling off screws, the glove compartment does not need to be taken out. Uh, you can get at the screws down here, and you can get at the screws here. So now what I'm going to do is pull this guy off, which again, you can use your trusty little screwdriver. This is started off, and uh, you can just pull it off. Be sure to have the glove box open for this one, because uh, it's a pain if you have it closed, trust me. That's it, slip it off. And you've got access to your screws here, here, here. Next, I'll be removing this thing. All right, you need to take two uh, secret screws off there right here. You normally need to take off some uh, ta some plastic tabs. I think there's a tutorial on doing that, but uh, I never put them in, and I think they're here. They've been here for a couple weeks. So um, all you have to do is you put in the screwdriver, and it's really hard to really explain how it's in there. There's a screw in here somewhere. There we go. Oh, gosh. That. Um, if you notice how I have to put in the screwdriver, um, once it's pretty hard to find. Once you find it, all you have to do is uh, take them off. They're, re they're the regular torque screws that you've been running into everywhere. All right, you should uh, find four, three screws on this uh, little portion right here, which is the, the key sensor reading portion of it. All you're going to do right now is uh, take off these two screws and take off this screw up here. What we want to do before we start pulling anything off is uh, go ahead and, and pull this little plastic trim that goes around the odometer off and uh, then we'll work on the rest of this once we get more screws exposed. And I like to go from uh, left to right here so that I can catch all the screws on the first pass, pull this off, catch all the screws on the second pass. But it really doesn't matter what order you go in or anything. You just want to pull off all the screws as best you can. They're all, uh, I believe it's a T20. Yeah, these are all uh, T20 screws. Um, be sure. All right. Um, what I've done here is I've just pulled it off. It just comes off straight, straight out and up like this. And um, you want to pull this off. So you have this free right here. And now you can see more screws that are exposed. Once again, going from uh, left to right here. I'll take off these two screws. I said earlier that it was two. It's really. I'm sorry. I said earlier that it was three. It's really four screws. Um, and you just want to go around the odometer. Be sure to not take off any of the screws that you don't need to take off. For example, you'll see two screws right here. This one and this one. You don't need to take off this top one, but you do need to take off the bottom one. The bottom one holds down the odometer itself. So, um, don't touch that top one or you'll start taking this plastic part off. And we don't need to take this off. Alright, uh, to take this plastic part off that's uh, under the secret compartment, what you do is uh, you take off these uh, screws. There should be three screws down here. And um, there should be one screw up here. 
and that should be everything that you need to pull it off. You won't be able to completely remove it, but uh, you should be able to move it enough so that you can uh, get at the odometer and everything. So just take off these three screws right here. Alright, you can see here it's already, the odometer's already a little bit loose, you can jiggle it. Um, here's a, uh, there's a screw here, a screw here, and then you can also see screws in here that uh, all you need to do is remove. And we can start getting to work on this bottom, the bottom portion of the console here. It's not absolutely necessary that you remove these screws right now, but uh, might as well. Okay, once again with your uh, trusty electrical tape covered uh, screwdriver, all you do is you get under here, you're going to need a, uh, it's a little bit difficult, this is probably one of the hardest parts that I think has to go on. You bend this out, you put this in, bend it a little bit, and you get your fingers in between there, and all you do is you pull out. Don't worry to, about breaking it, this just has two uh, pressure tabs, so it feels pretty strong going in there, and uh, you'll have three T25 screws, just like the ones, T, uh, no, I believe T30 uh, screws, just like the ones that, um, that uh, you pulled off at first behind the uh, odometer. So you pull these three out, and you can start getting to work on the screws on the side here, on both sides. Once you pull these off, I'll, uh, uh, I'll pull this thing off. Alright, I should warn you, you don't want to uh, pull this thing off, or this thing, because there are two little tabs down here held down by this portion right here. So what you want to do first is you want to pull off these two big screws right here, which are also uh, T30s. And um, there's one on each side. Take these two out. And uh, you can pull this thing off. Once again, it's going to feel like you're going to break it. You're not going to break it. You just need to pull straight out. See? There you go. This thing should come off, and this thing should also come off. Here you can see the little tab um, that go that's uh, held in by this thing. All you have to do now is pull this thing out and uh, a little bit and uh, get behind the console so that you can get the wires. Let me see if we can get the video on this. You push this down, and you bend this back all the way, and it should just pop out. Same thing over here. Push this down all the way, comes out. And this thing down here, which is for the auxiliary, you just pull off. And that's it. Your center console's free. All right. All right. Um, all right. Now we're done with uh, this. All you have to do is pull this out and get all the screws around the odometer, and that's it. You should be able to pull this all out in one piece. And. Um, have access to the back of the odometer. You look back here, all you do is um, just a little pressure tab. This is probably the easiest tab. Just push this down, and it comes out. And as you can see, I already have wiring and everything back here, but to remove the wiring harness for the stereo, you uh, pinch right here, um, pull this back, and it should just come out. With the antenna, what you do is you press in here. All right, what you do here is um, you get down here and there should be a little tab. You push this black part out and you pull this out right here. And that's it, your, seat, uh, your uh, airbag is unplugged. Be sure to pull the battery before you do this or you'll get an error on your uh, mini. All right, um, I'm trying to remove it, but if you're installing it, it's the same thing. Um, all you have to do to be able to get under all of this is put your hand about right here and you just start pulling. That's about it. You have to uh, remove this, which I forgot to remove, but after you remove uh, the seatbelt um, bolt, that's about it. You can also take this off a little bit if you want to uh, be more on the safe side, but that's about it. This plastic Hold piece on. removed. Um, if you notice here, the uh, this is a really nice ground plane. Uh, many went ahead and left ground planes here and here for it. This is the one that I used and uh, this is the power coming in from the battery and of course this is my signal I ran everything through here which is probably not the best thing to do because you'll get a little bit of alternator noise you can also always uh, run the signals through the steering column I'm sorry through the center console here and just run them down 
but um, this is how I chose to do it, and everything is bundled up here. So um, once we uh, get more of this removed, we'll go ahead and show you everything else that fits in here. All right, you guys, this is uh, what the hole under the passenger seat looks like. I've been asking forever for pictures and stuff, and nobody was ever able to give me any answers, so here it is. You've got a nice little hole. I'll put up the dimensions in the post. Um, this is my speaker wire, how it was run. This is my uh, the power and everything that was run in here. The ground and the power look the same, but I ran out of wire. And uh, the audio thing is the signal. And the remote line right here. But that's all there is to it to put it down here.